regardless of the type of condition or disease that someone has. The bottom line is, you must have a strong immune system to keep the cells of your body healthy. And the immune system is a complex network of organs, cells, and proteins that defends the body against infection while protecting the body's own cells. And the immune system keeps a record of every germ or microbe it has ever defeated so it can recognize and destroy the microbe quickly if it ever enters the body again. And there's no question that we are what we eat. And if we're eating poorly, we're eating junk food, our fried foods, our refined and processed foods, our box foods, our canned foods, and we're not getting the proper enzymes, the proper nutrients, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, as well as antioxidants, it will weaken the body. But study after study, PubMed, as well as other research studies throughout the world, has already shown the significance of what cruciferous vegetables can do for you. And if it's broccoli, Brussels sprouts, bok choy, arugula, cabbage, cauliflower, collard greens, they are all healthy cruciferous vegetables. And most of those cruciferous vegetables have a powerhouse of those vitamins and minerals. They have powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. And they're known to help reduce many cancers throughout our bodies. And these vegetables will lower the rate of many chronic diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. And they're filled with fiber. And it will do wonderful things to give you that satiety so you don't overeat. Your colon is going to have a feast because it's going to actually increase peristalsis. It's going to get rid of the excessive waste. And you're going to feel so much better. But cruciferous vegetables contain glucosinolates. These compounds give that dark green plants their bitter flavor. And the research shows that glucosinolates have that strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant property. And it helps protect our cells from disease causing damage. And it's those antioxidants that fight those free radicals in our body's cells and preventing and reducing the damage caused by oxidation. And in simple terms, oxidation is a chemical reaction that takes place when a substance comes in contact with oxygen. And examples of oxygen are rust, as well as the brown color on a cut apple. And these powerful antioxidants are preventing oxidation from taking place in our cells, particularly the mitochondria, which is the heart of our cells. And study after study shows that cruciferous vegetables reduce the bad cholesterol in your blood your LDLs, that's the cholesterol that causes placking within the arteries. It leads to heart disease as well as stroke. And the glucosinolates of those cruciferous vegetables has been shown to help kill cancer cells and stop tumor growth. And that's including stomach and colon cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, as well as pancreatic cancers. And those cruciferous vegetables are not only high in fiber, it's very, very low on the glycemic index. It's very, very low with carbs. It's great for insulin resistance. It can help prevent diabetes. It will help lower high blood pressure. It will help reduce obesity so you can lose that weight so your body can stay healthier. And cruciferous vegetables are not only good to help boost that immune system, they're great for metabolic detoxification, particularly your liver. The glucosinolates in those cruciferous vegetables not only protect the liver cells, but also help produce the enzyme glutathione. And glutathione is the body's most important antioxidant and is the foundation for many liver detoxification reactions. So here's the bottom line. Start supplementing more cruciferous vegetables in your diet. You can add it with many spices, with garlic, onions, shallots. You can be creative but get them in your diet because you are doing a blessing for the organs, tissues, and glands. And I promise you, you're not only going to build your immune system, but your body will love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you lots of good health to you, your family, your loved ones. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.